Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You might be wondering what is this component and why are we showing this? Many of you might already know the reason. Yes, it's a gearbox that is manufactured using die casting. In our previous videos, we discussed several casting processes such as sand casting, shell casting, investment casting, etc. Today, we'll talk about die casting, which is also known as pressure die casting in European countries. Before we get into our topic, let's talk a bit about the history of die casting. The first die casting machine was a small hand operated machine. Invented in 1838 and patented in 1848, this equipment was used to manufacture movable type, a system for printing and typography. The die casting process took a revolutionary step in 1885 when Otto Mergenthaler invented the Linotype machine. Later on, the SOS die casting machine manufactured in New York became the first die casting machine to be sold in the open markets. Since the 1890s, this process and its equipment has been evolving. In the die casting process, molten metal is forced into a die cavity at high pressure ranging from 0.7 MPa to 700 MPa. Due to this pressure, the speed at which the molten metal is poured into the cavity can reach as high as 540 km per hour. This process is always semi-automated or fully automated. As the molds or die used for die casting are not required to be destroyed, this process is extremely suitable for mass production of components. The die used in this process is made of high-quality, heat-resistant steel. It consists of two halves, one of which is movable while the other is fixed. A cavity is provided between the two halves. The molten metal is forced into this cavity and during this process, high pressure is applied to the die. The manufacture of a die is expensive, but thousands if not millions of castings can be manufactured using the same die. Till now, we have talked about the basics of die casting. Let's move on to its types and the process. There are two types of die casting machines, which give rise to two different types of the process. These two types are cold chamber and hot chamber die casting. In both processes, release agents such as ejector pins are attached to the die to ensure that the final casting can be easily removed from the die. The difference between the two types arise due to the different structure of casting chambers. So what is this difference? Time to find out. In the hot chamber die casting process, a piston is used to force the molten metal into the die cavity through a gooseneck and nozzle. This molten metal is held under high pressure until it solidifies. This high pressure can reach as high as 35 MPa with an average of around 15 MPa. A burner or furnace is provided which increases the temperature of the molten metal. As the metal solidifies inside the cavity, the movable half of the die is moved and the casting is obtained with the help of ejector pins. In the die block, several passageways are made to facilitate the circulation of water and oil. Its purpose is to cool down the die as the molten metal fills the die cavity. Hence, by circulating oil and water during the process, the die life can be improved. Furthermore, circulation of oil and water reduces the time taken for cooling of metal, hence reducing the cycle time of the process. Usually, low melting point alloys such as zinc, magnesium, tin and lead are cast using this process. The cycle time ranges from 200 to 300 shots per hour, where shots mean individual injections. However, the cycle time for very small components of zinc such as zipper teeth can reach as high as 18,000 shots per hour. Now, let's talk about the cold chamber die casting process. In this process, molten metal is poured into the injection cylinder or shot chamber. Then, it is pushed into the die cavity at high pressure. This pressure ranges from 20 to 70 MPa and can even be as high as 150 MPa, which is considerably higher than in the hot chamber. This process is called the cold chamber process because the shot chamber is not heated during the casting process. Using this process, high melting point alloys of aluminium, magnesium and copper are usually cast. Besides these, ferrous and other metals can also be cast using this method. The temperature of molten metal starts at 600 degrees Celsius for aluminium and magnesium based alloys. On the other hand, molten metal for copper based alloys can have even higher temperatures. Till now, we have talked about the two die casting processes. So what are we going to talk about now? Well, it's the advantages and disadvantages of die casting. Die casting possess several advantages. This process offers high corrosion resistance, strength and hardness. The electrical and thermal conductivity of the castings manufactured using this process is high. 
Also, they have good dimensional accuracy and excellent surface finish. Castings with thin walls and lightweight can be easily manufactured. Furthermore, the die casting process is economical as thousands, if not millions, of parts can be manufactured using the same die. Hence, compared to other casting processes, die casting has much lower costs and faster production cycle times. Die casting has a lot of advantages which eclipse the few disadvantages possessed by this process. Disadvantages are the high cost of die and possibility of entrapment of air inside the die cavity. This trapped air forms bubbles inside the molten metal and causes porosity in the final casting. Hence, die casting finds a large number of applications. The most common applications that we come across every day are kitchen wares such as pressure cookers and automotive parts like wheels, cylinder heads, manifolds, etc. Besides these, die casting is also used in manufacturing aerospace castings, cabinets for electrical industry, electric motor housings, general hardware appliances, pump parts, plumbing parts, etc. Now it's time to bring our video to a conclusion. Today, we talked about the die casting process, its types, advantages, disadvantages, and applications. We'll be back with more content on casting processes. Stay tuned and stay safe. Until the next one, bye.